When I first found out about the Fortune Bloomberg internship, I didn't think I would make the cut. That first day was, I was nervous, and I was just like, I pray I'm not late. I got on the subway, I was in shock. <laughs> I was like, wow, I'm actually gonna get to work here for a little while. When I met Marco, he was extremely eager to learn and excited. I was as excited as he was, if not more. The department I'm in is Infosys because I wanted to get a broader aspect of the IT world. We try to get them involved immediately. Uh, we want to show them what the Bloomberg culture is about, what the work is that we do. What we do is we'll add them to the list. Joe Bosco, okay. he was my manager, great guy. He's from Staten Island. Come into the user applications. All right. Search for the application ID. What makes this program really special is the human connection and relationships that we're developing with individuals who we might not have met were it not for this program. Mike is committed to issues around helping people who are justice involved re-enter into society and lead successful lives outside of incarceration. We bring an environment which is inclusive, which is desiring to be diverse. What has been consistent through all six cohorts now has been a focus on professional development and building those professional skills. Entry level. So you're looking for an entry level role in IT? IT. Okay. In IT. So on your resume, you want to make sure that you in, that you understand the value of customer service for an IT role. That's an attainable job. That's an attainable goal. What are the three words or phrases that you want to be known for here at Midnight? Um, integrity. integrity. Well, character. Yes. So personal brand. Personal brand. The Bloomberg Fortune Fellowship uh, is helping me with my corporate language. What I like is that they let you shadow different departments like infrastructure and global design. I got the shadow of my mentor, Dave Wildman. I'm just excited. So you do more of those things that you're already doing and people talk about rounding out your educational qualifications as part of Marco is somebody who, who's already thinking globally and, and has big plans. So that's something that's um, particularly rewarding to me to hear that when I hear him speak. Thank you. So it's a pleasure. Thank you. So I think initially all of the fellows come to Bloomberg and know that places like this really existed and to walk through and to see and, and to feel that buzz that happens around them is something quite impressive. So who's got the latest on LaToya? LaToya reached out and she finally has that role as a housing assistant with NYCHA, New York City Housing Authority, and she's doing great. She's very aware of what she has to do in order to keep moving up. My title is a housing assistant. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, you get to do your advocacy. Yes. You get to do your people thing. This gave me the confidence to say, okay, well, if I could do it at Bloomberg, then of course I could do it here. So, exactly. you know. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Nothing does more to help someone get on track than a, a steady job. And at Bloomberg, we have the resources to develop talent, and we think we do a pretty good job at it. The Fortune Fellowship Program is, I think, a great example of that. The whole experience really is inspiring for Fortune Fellows and their mentors. When you meet the fellows and you see what they've overcome and their willingness to reinvent themselves, to put themselves into positions which are deeply uncomfortable and to acknowledge the discomfort and then still take on the challenge. It's a powerful example of why humanity at its best can make enormous progress. And when companies and leaders like Mike are willing to make that investment, it generates enormous optimism about what we can still achieve. I learned so much being here at Bloomberg. Words can't even express how much I've changed. The future looks bright. <laughs>